Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to print a leather hair bow from your Silhouette Cameo. But before we get into the video, if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Also make sure you are following me on Instagram. That's where I will be posting updates and other things like that. And if you want to follow my vlog channel, me and Greg's movie review channel and Greg's podcast channel. All the links are down in the description and let's get into okay, it. So what I've done, I downloaded this pattern or template um, online. I just did a Google search for hair bow templates and I found a free one and I downloaded it. I tr will try to remember where I got this one from so that I can link it below. But then I brought it into my silhouette and I used the trace feature as I showed you in uh, two, I think three videos ago, three videos ago. But I will remember to link that also. So if you guys do not know how to trace to get your objects. So the most important part of this video is the settings to put it on when you're printing with your silhouette cameo because it's not going to be the same um the same settings as the silhouette is going to choose and i'll show you what i mean so i'm just going to select that click send so as you can see it is selected and it is set to cut i already had this open um but when you normally choose let's see if it'll go back to the normal settings okay so right now it's foil printable and then it has a setting for the blade to be on five speed at five and force 33 with one pass i am going to choose now some of you may have different versions of the silhouette uh, cameo but i am going to choose the leatherette feature which is right here and normally their setting for the leatherette is six with um, a speed of two the force is normally 33 with two passes what I want to do is change this to 10 with a speed of three a force of 33 and two passes so you can make sure that it's cut so all you have to do is come over right here to where it says speed and you could just change it as needed so again I'm going to change it to 10 now it says ratchet blade here but what you want to do in your silhouette is if you have a fabric blade make sure you put your fabric blade in because that's what's actually going to cut through the leather so let's do that right now so the first thing you want to do is actually make sure you're using the sticky mat make sure your mat is sticky so that when you put down your fabric it can stick very well to it because you don't want it flopping about while you're trying to cut it so now we're just going to go ahead and load this into our silhouette so you're going to click the load mat feature make sure that when it goes in no parts of it is sticking up and again like i said the speed you're going to have at 10 so you want to make sure that your blade and this is what my fabric blade looks like. It's blue instead of black. And so, uh oh, there we go. As you can see, the little red dot here shows that it's on 10. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that back in there and just send this to Silhouette so it can print. We're gonna unload. And as you can see, this little piece wants to come out already. <laughs> and we're just gonna pull this off of our mat. And as you can see, it cut very well. And hopefully you can kind of see the thickness. So when you use your fabric blade, that's what's gonna cut through any kind of faux leather or leather that you have. And the setting of 10, um, two passes, the speed of three and the force of 33 is gonna is what's going to get you your clean cuts. Now it took me several passes and playing around with different blades to figure out 
how to get <laughs> the proper setting on my silhouette to print out so I'm not doing these all by hand. So let's go ahead and put this together. Okay, so now what we're going to do is put our hair bow together. We have our hot glue gun here. We have our clip and our pieces. And you can sew this. You don't have to use hot glue. You can sew it. I'm absolutely loving the color of this. It's so pretty. Put a good amount right there. And we're gonna just place our bow here in the center as best as possible. So far, it's looking so cute. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the alligator clip. Sorry for the clumsy clumsiness today, guys. Okay. And then you're just gonna take the rest of that around, but I'm gonna cut just a little snippet of this off because it looks slightly long. And we're all set. So this is how you can create lovely little hair bowls using your Silhouette Cameo. I hope you like it. And if you do, make sure you give me a big old like on this video. As I've always said, if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Let's do that now. Also, if you would like to follow my blog channel, the link is in the description as well as the link to me and Greg's movie review channel and Greg's podcast channel and also make sure you're following me on instagram and until next time bye